What's going on everybody? I got a Christmas tree. I got a Christmas tree. Now, some of you may be thinking, Dre, who cares? Everybody has Christmas trees. This one's significant for a reason. And it's not because I got it last year when Kmart was closing and it was marked down from $150 to $40. No, that's not what makes this Christmas tree special. What makes this Christmas tree special is the fact that this is the first time I had an opportunity to put up a Christmas tree since Christmas of 2011. That means six years I haven't had a Christmas tree. Me and my sons didn't open up gifts around the Christmas tree for six years. The reason is because I could not find a place in my old apartment for a Christmas tree. My apartment was too small. It was a one bedroom apartment where my sons stayed in the bedroom and I slept in the living room. So the living room was my bedroom slash living room. Didn't have a dining room. Um, the bathroom was a decent size. The bedroom was a good size, but everything else was very thin and very small, very, very uh, modest. So the reason why me having a Christmas tree special is because for six years I didn't have a Christmas tree for six years me and my sons didn't have a Christmas tree in our house we all opened up gifts in somebody else's house maybe my sister's house or someone uh, my, my um, cousin's house who had a Christmas tree to give them that Christmas feel and I know it's 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 a gift it's a Christmas tree it's not that big of a deal but it symbolizes a couple of things for me it symbolizes how far uh, me and my sons have come in the past seven years. Um, where now I have a, a living room that has a couch, a love seat, TV, pictures and stuff. Um, this is a big deal for us. And us having a Christmas tree is a big deal as well. I am happy that I was able to get this Christmas tree at a discount, at a discount, and able to put it up so me and my sons can have a Christmas morning where, like we used to have, where I made breakfast and I recorded them opening up Christmas gifts around the Christmas tree and them uh, comparing gifts and, and laughing and having a good time in our living room. I'm able to give my kids that again. And it's been years since I was able to do that. Um, after a, a divorce, becoming a, a, a single custodial parent, a single dad, um, going back to school, uh, earning my bachelor's degree. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm nine credits shy of getting my master's in counseling, and I'll be getting that in May. And then in 2015, 19, I'll be getting my master's in education, and um, me and my kids have come a long way. My youngest son is doing great in school. He has some little minor behavioral issues, but he's doing good academically, like amazing academically. My 15-year-old um, has a 94 average. He's into sports. He's doing amazing also, and he's into church. Like, I don't have to tell him to go to church. He's going on his own, and he's active active. My 20 year old is making plans to go to college. Um, I'm in a good place right now. Um, God has blessed me and God is good, not because of the good things that I have. God is sovereign. So what? So God was just as good as he is today as he was three years ago when I was living in a one bedroom apartment, working five jobs just to make ends meet. He was good then and he's good now. So he's not good because of all the good things I have. He's good because he's sovereign. I'm just thankful for what he's entrusted me with right now. And I'm extremely appreciative of it. And I hope my sons see that uh, with hard work, they can accomplish anything. Um, and with a humble heart, they'll be able to go far. So this Christmas tree is special to me and my kids. It doesn't have to be special to you. But this symbolizes how far we've come as a family. And I hope that my sons will go even further than I was able to accomplish um, right now. 
So I got a Christmas tree, y'all.